All right, ladies and gents, welcome back to another AutoCAD web app and AutoCAD software video. Uh, we're going to be doing my 3D3 drawing, and we're more focusing on the 2D orthographic views of the drawing, as in, you know, looking at this one, we have the front and we have the top, and then we're looking at the 3D model on the side, okay? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start drawing these views. We'll talk about how they line up with each other and then what these different lines are, and then we'll be done, all right? Maybe a little 3D modeling at the end. Um, so here we go. So in AutoCAD, all right, I'm looking at making a two by six inch box and then I'm going to be cutting out this little notch here. Okay, that's basically so one side of this is a little taller and the other side is a little bit shorter. Uh, it's one inch tall and then obviously if this is two and that's one, that would make this little step up one as well. Okay, so we're going to go two, six, one and then you can see if this is six all the way across and this line is in the middle and especially if this is three right here. That makes this three, and that would also make this three. Okay, so two, six, one, three, one, three. All right, so going back to AutoCAD, we're gonna draw, I'm actually gonna flip right to the front here because I'm gonna do the 3D model at the end, I think. Um, and if we draw it on the front, it makes it easier. So we're gonna draw across, we're gonna, actually we'll go down first. We'll go two, six, one, ooh, one, three, one, and then three, or close. All right, so we get something like that. So that view is actually already done, uh, except for doing the hidden lines, okay? And we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, top view, the left, left side is gonna line up, the right side's gonna line up, the step down is gonna give you this and this, and you can see that this top face here actually goes back through these two. So even though this one and this one are higher up, they're taller, and this one is shorter or lower down, it'll still look flat in the 2D views, okay? So you can see that this is a three by six, all right? So what I'm gonna do first is take my offset tool, I'm gonna measure one between my views, I'm gonna stretch this out, and again, I could go like this and slide up, all right? That gives me something like that. Make sure F10 is on, otherwise that won't work. Um, now I'm gonna take a line, I'm gonna go from here, I'll go three, I'll come across, I'll go six, and then I'll come back down. So that's the basic shape of that view, okay, that top view. Uh, you will have this line, again, F10 has to be on to do this, slide, and then you'll see an intersection. Well, actually, in that case, we got a midpoint, that's fine. Um, but just make sure that in OS Enter that you have endpoint, midpoint, center, and intersection turned on. Those are the important ones for my drawings, all right? So I can take this, I can slide up, click, and go across. Uh, these pieces up top here, if this is three inches and these two are one inch, that makes the middle one one as well. So I'm going to do an offset of one, one, and then I should be left with one at the end. So offset tool, one, enter, do that twice, trim what I don't need. I don't need that, that, and that. So now I'm at this point, all right? The last thing to do here is just this part over here which is again, uh, one inch over. So if you want, you can do that offset again, or you could slide up off this corner and do one enter. That'll measure one inch over. And then I don't know how far this goes yet, so I'm just gonna draw it out to about there. Uh, but again, I'm gonna go on this corner, and I'm gonna slide down on that F10 polar line. And before I click or do anything else, if I do one enter, you'll see that as, it's, as you're sliding, it's measuring up, it's counting up. You can see it happening right now. As it counts up, you can just type your number or your distance and hit enter and it will go that far, okay? So again, I'm just gonna go like this for now, all right? Uh, now, as far as how far in that indent goes, that's two inches. So technically, if I knew that ahead of time, I could have just typed two enter and that would have gotten me to where I wanted to go. But in this case, since I didn't do that yet, I'm gonna do an offset of two off of here and then I'll trim what I don't need and I also don't need this opening, okay, or I do need the opening, so I gotta trim that part there. Um, and then I gotta do some chamfers, okay? So you're gonna have a chamfer, which is gonna use a distance of one fourth and one fourth. There's two chamfer distances. What that means is that from the corner, which would be right where my cursor is, it'll measure one fourth over and one fourth down, and then it will connect them. Same thing here, from the point of my mouse cursor, one fourth up and one fourth over, and it will connect the two. So we go to chamfer, C-H-A-M-F-E-R, 
hit distance and do one fourth for the first distance, one fourth for the second distance. And we go one, two, just like when we're doing fill it. And then I hit space bar, it brings me back in, one, two. All right, so we get something like this. So now if you're one of my students, you're putting dimensions on this, right? Uh, but we gotta do our hidden lines and center lines and then we're done with these views. So I'm gonna draw a dummy line. Well, it's not really a dummy line, but I'm gonna draw a line here that I'm gonna change into a hidden line and I'll explain why in a second. Um, I'm gonna bring this down. That's gonna give me a line there. And I'm gonna bring this down. What you're doing is you're describing what's happening in here in the other view. Without those two lines, it looks like it would just be, or without those three lines, it would look like it would just be an L shape all the way back, but it's not because there's a void missing here and there's a void missing here. So we need to describe that uh, basically you know, in these views, okay, between each other. So now if I have a line coming off of here, I'm showing how deep that's going, right? So this we can change to a hidden line. So let me go back to my 2D tools here, drafting an annotation. Go to my line type. Again, I have to reload them because I never saved that drawing from before. So again, we go to line type, other, load, and then scroll down until you see center to the 0.5x, and then load again, and find hidden to 0.5x. All right, so these two are gonna be hidden lines. And this one's gonna be a hidden line. Uh, these two, they're describing how far back that cut is, okay? And you can see this in the 3D model as well. How far back it goes is giving you this line and that's coming across and then going down here. So that's a hidden line right there. But I also have to show all of the different uh, edges that you can't see from that view. I can't see any of these edges over here. So I'm showing that one. And then I'm also showing where this bends right here, this bend. This part would come over and then go down. And that would be a hidden line as well. And that's why you have two. Where it bends, okay, which it starts here, which we already have. And then it bends to here. This corner, bring that down. And that's how you get this one, okay? A lot of times my students will draw this. They'll have the lines there, but they won't be lined up correctly. Make sure that they're lined up correctly. Otherwise, they're not right. All right. Now with the other part, uh, we're describing that there's a cutout here. There's there's a void that's missing, and it can't. It's not just an L shape all the way back. You can't really give it the left and right side of it. You can't describe the left and right because there's already hard lines there. So we already know that it's from here to here. We just need to know how deep it goes, which is going to be this. And because this shelf is flat with this, and that there's no line here or no drop off or step up or anything like that. You're just going to have a line showing the very bottom, and it's going to be even with this surface right here, this line. Okay, so let's go back for a second, um, and that's pretty much it for the views. All right, if you're my students, again, you're putting uh, dimensions on here, and that's it. All right, so now with the 3D model, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply, I'm actually going to use the top view of this one. I think it's easier to draw it this way, so I'm going to erase this one, um, which makes it funny because I changed to, you know what, let's leave it. We changed to front already, so let's just go with the front view, okay? And you can get rid of these. You don't need those anymore. Uh, we're going to select all of these and type join. And I'll do this a little faster because I know some people are only looking for the orthographic views here, and they're not really looking for the 3D models as much. Um, but, you know, I'll go through it again, even though I have a video like this already, all right? So looking at the bottom right corner here, I, I just reset my view back to top. I'm going to the bottom right corner, and now it's standing tall. I already joined it, and that join was a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so it should have been a 6 to 1. So if I hit F2 right now, it'll show me my past uh, things within the command line, uh, and you'll see that when I did the join, it became 6 objects found, 6 objects converted to 1 polyline. So that's what we want, all right? So now this becomes extruded. It's going to go back 3 inches, okay? You can do negative 3, positive 3, it doesn't matter, all right? Uh, next thing you're going to do is you're going to cut out that top part. So in order to do that, I'm going to take a line here, all right? This is a dummy line. You can't forget that this line is here because it's on top of another line. There is no line there already. That is part of a 3D model. That's an edge. That's not a line. But we can draw a line on top of it, and we need to because in order to offset it, you can only offset lines. So I'm going to do offset 1, enter, and I'm going to bring this across twice. All right, let me orbit a little bit so you can see what those lines look like. 
we're just going across the top surface. I can't offset this 3D model. It won't let you do that. It'll only do lines. So right now, before I forget, boom, get rid of that line. Okay. Uh, next thing is going to be, again, like just like the last drawing here, we have to create a 3D model within a 3D model and then subtract it away. So I need to close from here to here and from there to there with two lines. Now I have four lines, which I can join. Those four became one. Okay, that's good. Take this and extrude it down. This is, this is where negative matters, negative one, because you want to go down. So now I have a model within a model. I can do subtract. I want to click what I want to subtract from and then hit enter and then click what you want to subtract and hit enter and it will cut that part out. Okay. So now the next part is going to be the exact same thing. I'm going to start with a line and I'm actually only going to go two inches here. Uh, make sure you don't get on that midpoint by accident, but we'll just kind of go past that to enter. And then I'm going to take this line and I'm going to offset that across. Again, don't forget that that line is there. Offset one enter like so. I'm going to connect the back. I'm going to connect the front and then I'm going to erase my original line that I created and again I'm going to join this. 4 to 1. That's good. This gets extruded down negative 1 because that surface is also 1 inch and then it gets subtracted away. Subtract. What do I want to subtract from? Enter. What do I want to subtract? Enter. And it cuts that part out. The last thing we have to do here is the chamfer. Now that we now we could have done the chamfer before, a 2D chamfer by just doing chamfer, distance, one fourth, one fourth, enter, and then clicking the two lines, and then clicking the two lines. But I didn't do it that way. I made a box first, which means that now I have these edges that I have to chamfer. So that tool, just like fillet became fillet edge when it you know becomes a 3D um, a 3D tool, this will be chamfer edge. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll still hit distance. I'll go one fourth for the first distance, one fourth for the second distance. And I won't click the lines, I will click the edge. One, two. You can see the fence look, it looks good. So you hit enter twice and it saves it like that. All right. Uh, if you're one of my students and you're doing 3D modeling, probably later in the year when we can, you're going to go back to top. You're going to go to the bottom right corner. We have to reset our view every time we orbit. If we're going to orbit around and look at it, you know, if we're going to change it to conceptual and, and look at it on the screen, we need to go back to 2D wireframe, back to the top, and then the bottom right corner. And then we would actually go to hidden when we go to print it. Okay, and we throw our name on there and all that good stuff. All right. So listen, I appreciate you guys watching. This was the 3D3 orthographic views drawing and then a little bit of 3D modeling at the end. And I will see you guys in the next one. Later.